In this video, I would like to showcase my favorite of Zodiac's recent releases. And I think this is a brand that has really been going in a positive direction recently. This is the Super Sea Wolf Ceramic. And my favorite colorway, the one that has really kind of separated itself from the rest is the green and white. So before I jump into the details, let me first shout out Exquisite Timepieces. They are the Zodiac authorized dealer that lent these in for review. Uh, they're a great family-owned brick-and-mortar AD in Florida, and I have been borrowing watches from them for years now. They're highly recommended, and a link will be in the description of the video. Now, this green, it's so unique. I've not seen another green dial on the market quite like this one. It's more of a light cucumber or melon green shade. I like this sunray dial. I like how defined those lines are when it comes to the texture. And that same color is found on the premium FKM rubber strap that is a tropic style strap that would be period authentic for the design inspiration. So this green is perfectly complemented by the use of orange. Zodiac has placed an orange reference on the uh, circumference of this dial. The block minute hand is also done in a slightly reflective orange. And I love these two colors next to each other. I think that is very playful. And that's really the highlight of this watch for me is the unique color scheme paired with this white ceramic material. So the stainless steel case is covered by a thick covering of ceramic. It's a high gloss finish. It is incredibly difficult to scratch. And Zodiac has also used a white ceramic covering for the crown at the three o'clock position the bezel and the bezel insert. So really this is loud and it's eye catching and it's different and that really speaks to me. Now a couple other elements that I would like to point your attention to just on a macro level is the fact that Zodiac has used burgundy for the indexing and that's in slight contrast to the use of black for the printing of all of the text. So Zodiac is done in black. The original cursive Super Seawolf designation is black. The same with automatic and chronometer and Swiss made. And then the applied Zodiac logo is also black. And then there is one element of text that is not black and it's not printed burgundy. It's a light orange color and that is the water resistance designation of 200 meters. Now admittedly, that orange is lighter and it doesn't quite match the orange on the circumference of the dial or that block minute hand. So it's kind of an eclectic <laughs> layout, but I think it is very symmetrical. I like the fact that this is a no date execution. And I like the fact that these white markers, they appear printed, but they're also raised off of the plane of the dial. So it has almost a hybrid look. I like the dimensionality there. And then continuing within this watch, there will be a fossil made STP 1-11 movement. So it will have 26 joules beat at four Hertz and carry a power reserve that is six hours more than a basic Salita at 44 hours. Though if you look at Seiko, you look at Kinesi, you look at what ETA is doing today, those reserve values are 70 hours, 80 hours. So 44 hours, although a little bit better than a base Salita, is still rather, I don't know, rather disappointing in today's market. So that is an area for improvement. But the thing that I do like about this movement is the fact that it is a certified chronometer because that is pretty uncommon sub $2,000. It certainly happens, but I think this having a COC certified movement adds a little bit of value, and I appreciate that as a watch collector. Now, this is the low light shot. I like the fact that these markers are dimensional, so it adds a good amount of longevity in low light when it comes to the Superluminova application. This is the bezel action. There's a good grip. There's a nice amount of torque needed to make the positional changes. Just a touch amount of back play. And I would, I would say that this is pretty average for the retail price of $1,795. Now I will say one area that this excels in is the anti-reflective treatment application that's found on this sapphire crystal, it really brings a nice level of clarity to these lovely colors, these bold colors. That is the highlight of the watch. Now, a couple things that I love, and then we'll go into negative elements. I love this color scheme. I love how different this is. I love how playful this is. And I think it is prime for accessorization. And hear me out. I know this sounds ridiculous, 
But I found a pair of Jordans that I think perfectly complement this watch that I would buy just to wear with this one watch that I would only wear sparingly in rotation because I think this is an accent piece type of purchase. So I get that that's a little bit ridiculous, but at the same time, it's a lot of fun. So I, I you know, like I mentioned, this is primed for accessorization. It is a very fun color scheme. And I like the fact that this white ceramic is highly scratch resistant and this movement is accurate. At least, uh, you know, it's a COC certified movement. Now, a couple areas for improvement. I think that this would benefit by having a ceramic bracelet option. I look at a comparable brand from the Swatch Group. I look at Rado. And for about the same price, they're doing full ceramic bracelets. So if Zodiac wants to inject some more value into this piece, they could look into doing perhaps a stainless steel bracelet that has an outer layer of ceramic like they've done with the case and crown. I think that could be a move in the right direction. And then the other thing that I considered is a loomed bezel insert. I think that would be very satisfying from a watch collector standpoint. And it would, it would really uh, tie in nicely with the use of green and orange and burgundy paired with this white gloss ceramic. It would be that much more eye-catching in low light conditions. Now, that being said, I will end with one thing, and it is the reason why I find this watch so alluring and why I think it will be successful. It's the fact that Zodiac has taken a retro design from about 60 years ago. You look at the logo, you look at the fonts, you look at the proportions, even the Tropic style rubber strap, it's period authentic, but you almost forget that this is a vintage inspired design because the colors are so loud. The materials are contemporary and uh, would be considered exotic when it comes to this gloss ceramic, when it comes to the sapphire and the anti-reflective coatings, when it comes to the chronometer certified movement. And so I just love this juxtaposition, the marriage of the 1960s and the 2020s coming together for a watch that is so eye-catching and off the beaten path. That really speaks to me. So I wanna thank you for watching this video today. If you have any questions, let me know. Place a comment in the comment section or reach out to me directly. My email is in the description. I'll do my best to answer those questions. And if you are shopping any Zodiac watch, I will leave a link to exquisite timepieces and awesome family-owned brick-and-mortar AD. That being said, have a great day, and I'll see you in the comment section.